Alright, YouTube, welcome back. What's going on, man? From Man's Gaming Series here today, bringing you another video, mates. Alright, so what's going down today is I recently did a Minecraft server install video, and this is going to be the same thing. I'm going to do run through it quickly, though, and I'm teaching you how to install a Craft Bucket 1.8.3 server. So the first things you're going to do is create a folder called Git, and it's in a folder for your server named whatever. Now you're going to want to download this, and I'll show you where. I'm going to put the link to this this page in the description and direct links to the downloads of the files first of all you're going to click you're going to come to this page if you don't go to the direct links of downloads and the requirements for this are going to be lists and everything you just go down here you click this link it downloads the dot jar you're going to take this build tools dot jar and drop it in your git folder now git means nothing to you right now i expect that after you have done that you're going to see this right here installing git this will also be in the description. You click on the download page and you download for whatever it is. I've already done this, so I'm not going to run the installer. Once everything's installed, just make sure you set it to create a desktop shortcut. You're not going to start this. You're going to open up the Git folder you created earlier, right here. You're going to right click, read through these, and when you see Git bash here, right click that. And this console should come up. Now, you're just going to very simply type java dash jar and then build tools dot jar. Now, it's going to start downloading all the files into here. I'm not going to let it run its course considering it takes about 15 minutes and you guys don't need to watch that. So I'm just going to close it out and close that. And after that, you're going to get a folder that contains this. Uh, there's going to be a craft bucket dash 1.8.3 jar. I moved mine out, so I apologize. And there's going to be a spigot dash, uh, dash 1.8.3 jar. You're going to take whichever one you plan to use and drop it in your in your server folder, which you've already created. And I'm just going to use spigot, spigot since I already kind of got rid of craft bucket. And once it's in here, it's almost it's pretty much the same thing as the other server. You're going to need the launch dot bat which once again the pre-made server will be in the description so don't worry and you're gonna do the launch.bat you're gonna edit it and whatever your jars name is whether it be spigot or craft bucket or whatever just change it to that this one's spigot so I'm just gonna change it to spigot and you're gonna launch it up and it will create it uh... You wait because I, I'm using Spigot now because this, Spigot's a little slower than Graph Bucket Startup. And while we wait for this, alright, so obviously it's going to do that. You have to accept the Elua just as you did with a vanilla server. Once again, guys, this is not a vanilla server. This is Spigot and Graph Bucket. And once you've changed that to true in the Elua, you're going to launch it up again. and it's going to go through this, it's going to create the world and uh, there's going to be a lot of files depending on what you use either way you don't really need to pay attention to any of it except for the server.properties which I've showed you all before um, now while it's doing that I'm going to show you all how to port forward quickly for those who missed the last video you're going to search CMD in your windows thing and, and then type ipconfig in there. Now you're going to look for the thing that says Ethernet Adapter. Um, wait, no, not that. What? Oh, my, my bad. Uh, wireless LAN Adapter Wireless Net Network Connection. 10.0, this IPv4 address right here. Yours won't be the same as mine. It might, it, no, there's no way it's going to be. I'm sorry. I even said that in the last one. Your gateway might be, depending on your provider. You're going to need the default gateway in that adre address right there. Now, say you don't see this, look for the Ethernet adapter. Same thing applies. Now, what you're going to do is open up Google or whatever browser you use and type in the default gateway. Now, most browsers, username and password, their default stuff is, is um, admin and password. Ignore this, guys. I swear my computer's retarded. Um, then, once you open it up, most, once again, most providers have their port forwarding under advanced wherever it is just find it 
Now, once you're on the port forwarding page, mine is broken, I think. Um, you're going to go to add service, uh, random service name, just server, the server IP address, which is your IPv4 IPv4 address that you've already seen. The ports always two five five six five, and you save it. I'm gonna get an error, but yours will work. Once that's done, you're gonna go to the server dot properties, and you don't need to change anything in here if you're hosting it on your computer. But I mean, for most, you can put localhost here or you know your, that address. Now once all that's done, you're going to launch the server again. It's already open for me, so I'm going to leave it open. And just to show you, this is Spigot, and it works and everything. We're going to go join up on the server. I'm already going to opt myself before I join. Um, and just gonna wait we're gonna wait we're gonna wait we're gonna wait now if you guys have any questions or suggestions or anything leave them down in the description I'll read them and I will help um, I'm sorry if I've gone too fast once again you know I will answer your questions all right so go to multiplayer and for those connecting from their computer put local host in your minecraft and just join the server and to show you guys it is spigot or craft bucket i'm joining the server and i'm in and it'll take it a second to load the chunks there you go and as you can see slash plugins slash help it's spigot and 1.8 and just to show you right there alright guys so that's that and one last thing I want to show you is how to find your IP what is my IP.com and boom this is the IP you'll give your friends not the other one and when you give them this you just give them the port as well or just the IP so yeah guys links will be down in the description thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe